What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scooter in a Truck, and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded. I get it. I say that all the time. I haven't been on the grind. Sue me. Sorry. Um, actually, the exact opposite. I've been on an extreme grind, but I haven't had time to record and upload and, you know. But nevertheless, I'm back now with another video. Hopefully, it'll be informative. Hopefully, it'll give you answers you want. I've been seeing a couple comments and things like that in the comment section. Different questions. I just want to answer them all in one video. Hopefully, I can get to everybody. Um, so, yeah. Question number one. I'm getting right to it. Waste no time. Question number one. Uh, where am I located? I'm out of Columbus, Ohio. I'm in an apartment called the Feeder Drivers, which is the semi-truck drivers at UPS that do the short hauls back and forth between the centers and the customers that are sending stuff, things like that. Um, I'm home daily. I will not discuss pay because I'm quite sure that's a breach of contract somewhere in the union and I don't want to go down that road. But I am home daily. I get paid weekly and the, fair, the pay is pretty fair for the amount of work that I do. Um, of course, I could always get paid more. That would be the goal because I do a lot of work and I don't feel like saying that it's fair pay is the right thing to do. But, you know, whatever. Um, it's a decent pay. Uh, I do no touch freight. I do do slip seating um, every day when you come in unless you're on a on a run like an assigned run where you have an assigned truck you're probably going to be in a different truck every day which is cool because all of the trucks are pretty clean they're pretty well maintenance um, it's not really a lot of concern with that uh, we do have maintenance facilities on site we have uh, fuel allens on site we have, uh, sorry, brief interruption, right back. We do have fuel on site. We have wash bays on site. So when you get back at night, you fuel your truck, you wash your truck, you park your truck, take your keys upstairs, the dispatch, clock out and go home. It's just that simple. Um, there is no fuel cards or anything like that, like other companies where you got to stop and fuel at Loves or Pilot or whatever. Nah, it's none of that. Fuel is on site. Most of our trucks are either LNG or diesel out of my location. There are other places that have CNG trucks um, and other forms of, you know, alternative fuels. But the location that I'm at in Columbus, Ohio, we have LNG and um, diesel. Um, the LNG truck was a little difficult to get used to driving just because it shifts a little bit weirder doesn't quite have the diesel diesel sound but I mean it's a semi truck nonetheless you're gonna learn how to drive if you know how to drive one you can drive them all basically um, so yeah I think that's majority of the questions that I got in the comment section recently and in the DMs um, again bro I love the DMs I appreciate it but it shows more interaction if y'all leave them comments in the comment section so make sure you go down to the bottom like share subscribe comment click the notification bell join the trucker gang I'm gonna have more videos more frequently coming out. Um, I'm gonna try to get to everybody's comments. If I don't respond directly, then I apologize. But as soon as I see it pop up, I try to respond to them. I don't have that many comments as of right now. Hopefully the channel grows to the point where I don't have time to respond to everybody's comments. I mean, that's the goal, right? But as for now, man, I'm trying to make sure that I give you guys the content that y'all want. So with that being said, hop in the comment section. Let me know what y'all want videos about. Any questions that you got. Anybody that's trying to get into trucking or trying to get into UPS or um, any questions that you got, man. Comments, concerns, anything. Let me know. I'll definitely try to address it in the next video. Um, but yeah, as far as me, man, as far as I go on my trucking journey, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, in addition to working at UPS, I've also started my own business on the side. It's not in competition with UPS or anything like that. Um, I won't do too much information about that on here right now until I figure out the logistics behind it and make sure everything is up and running and good before I start jinxing it. But digging my LLC, um, we do got things in motion as far as that goes. So just be patient. I'll have some more information on that soon. 
there's a um, there's a few YouTubers that I'm looking at right now that actually do a lot of very very good informational blogs and blogs about starting a business, running a business, owning a business. Um, my bad. I'm right back, right back, right back. Same energy. Uh, actually, more energy. Honestly, man. Um, but yeah, man, we uh, got a lot of things moving, a lot of things shaking and juving. You know what I mean? But uh, we about to definitely take this channel up, man. I, I, my goal was to get this channel through the roof, and that's still the goal. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of slow period at UPS. Had to get some hustling going on, and you know what I mean, make some things happen. Because that is something that uh, that is very real. In your first couple years here, you don't have any seniority, so you get the bottom of the bottom crap jobs. Um, there's a period at the beginning of the year where it's a slow period. Three, four, maybe five weeks of time where it was like slow, really, really slow. Um, hold on. Um, yeah, well, right back, right back, right back, right back. I know I keep getting interrupted, man. I'm sorry. I'm uh, actually at a UPS facility right now waiting to get this trailer unloaded so I can grab it. Normally, we just come in, drop our full ones, take it empty or take a full one up out of here. But today, they're moving a little bit behind. So I'm waiting on them to finish unloading this trailer so I can hook it up over there to my and uh, rear trailer. And I'm going to pull this set of doubles right on up out of here. I was eating, so I got a little bit of uh, hiccups and things going on. Let me fix that. But, yeah, so like I was saying, we had a little four or five week period where it was kind of slow. <laughs> Wasn't quite as many jobs because um, everybody was working. You got like 500 drivers out of, out of Columbus and maybe three, four, five hundred dollars, I don't know, something like that. But there's a lot of drivers and everybody was at work. So when that happens, you got the guys that are on annual bids who are gonna work their jobs because they're at work. Then you have the on-call guys with more seniority that are gonna get calls before you. So there are gonna be days when you don't get a call. Um, all right, so right back, right back. All right, so. Um, damn, train of thought, gone, boy. Gone, train of thought. Um, but listen, so. You had that slow period, you know what I mean? You got the guys that are, it's a lot of guys at work, so there's not as many jobs, you know what I mean? There's a certain amount of trailers that gotta go to a certain amount of places, and if you got a certain amount of drivers, sometimes the ones at the bottom of the list won't get a call. Um, normally, for the most part during that slow period, UPS was pretty good at finding something for you to do to get your hours in. Even if it was only eight hours for that day, they would find something for you to do to get your hours in. Now, there are, the horror stories about oh my god they're gonna make you go in the in the warehouse and work on the unload and load and blah 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 man i didn't do that i didn't do that at all no i did not do that um but they did have a few days where they had a, a shift it was like start at nine in the morning and just clean out uh trailer delivery and pickup trailers the tdp trailers just go in and clean them out and you know what i mean spent eight hours just cleaning out trailers taking skids out of the back of trailers easiest money I ever made. Still make the same amount of dollars that I make on the regular hours while I'm driving. Which is, you know what I mean? A way to get my eight hours for the day. So, they do work with you pretty well. Um, they, they try their best to keep you busy even in the slow periods. But right after that slow period, man, it ramped up to the fullest. I'm talking about like right before annual bids came out, people started taking their vacations, and the more and more people start taking their vacations, the more and more jobs become available to people that's at the bottom of the board. So, it's kind of a trickle-down effect, you know what I mean? <laughs> And with the amount of drivers that we got, and it only being 52 weeks in a year, there's only 52 weeks that those drivers can take a vacation. So every week there's drivers on vacation. So there's more and more jobs on the on-call board for people that are on call. Um, now, with that being said, annual bids came up. And your boy got an annual bid. Yes. So I got a regular start time. I got a regular day a week that I work. I work Tuesday through Saturday. I start at 1 a.m. It's a great shift. It's good. I'm happy. I'm content with it. You know what I mean? I just wanted to start time because starting early in the morning, late at night on calls, it, it gets pretty stressful when you got kids. I got a family. You know what I mean? So it, 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 can, it can get to you when you work in all hours of the day, all hours of the night. It can be pretty stressful and pretty strenuous. But nevertheless, um, 
I'm not getting too content with it because of the fact that there's still a seniority board. So if one of the guys with higher seniority than me comes back from disability or for any other reason besides that he wants the job that I'm on, he's going to take it. Uh, ain't, 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 ain't nothing I can do about it besides go back on call. It is what it is. Um, but that's one of the downsides I want to say about working here is just the until you get some seniority under your belt man you low man on the totem pole but the good thing is since I've been employed I mean and I just started in October of last year now it's May of 21 I started October of 20 it's about to be June of 21 but in less than a year I mean hell I got a decent amount of people up under me that they've, that they've hired since they hired me. I mean, they hiring new people every week, so my seniority is going up and up. And then there's guys retiring, and there's guys that go on disability and leave, and all types of other stuff. So my seniority is bumping up the list pretty fast, honestly. Um, so I'm happy about that. I mean, to the point where I'm. I mean, I haven't been here a year, and I already got an annual bid, at least for now, until somebody decides that they like it. You know what I mean? Go figure. But. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, man, that's that's what it is. Um, got the seniority thing out the way. Got the um, annual bid. Told y'all about that. Slow time. I think I answered all or pretty much all of the questions that were in the DMs and in the comment section. Um, so, again, if you haven't. So, we back. I think that answers all the questions pretty much. So if you got any other questions that I didn't get to in this video, be sure to drop down in the comment section and leave them there. I'll do my best at getting to them, finding a good answer, and making sure that I report back to y'all as quick as possible. Um, man, thanks again for enjoying my journey with me. It's only going up from here. It's only going up from here, man. I mean, my goal is not to do anything but motivate and inform and and honestly just hopefully shed a different light on different parts of the trucking industry for everybody um i know there's a million questions that you might have in getting into trucking and if i can help in any way in any way if i can offer any type of assistance to you or um, any type of answers to questions that you might have feel free to drop them in my comment section hit me in the dms it doesn't matter me uh, follow me on all social media it's scooter in a truck s-k-o-u-t-e-r-i-n-a-t-r-u-c-k -I, I plan on getting instagram popping um snapchat tiktok all of them i'm just gonna do everything man. i um i gotta i gotta reach out and just try to you know grow this brand as fast as i can and as fast as i can because it's important i feel like the trucking industry needs more outlets of good information um so again, man, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell so you can get alerted to every time I drop a video, every time I go live. Um, I do plan on giving a couple giveaways. I do plan on doing a couple giveaways. Then I'm debating on whether or not I want to do, um, it'll probably just be truck related stuff. You know what I mean? Things that truckers might need on the road, whatever. But um, yeah, that's coming soon. That's coming real soon. Um, as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, we're going to do our first giveaway. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we'll do another 1,000, another one, and then from there, you know what I mean, we're going up. So, stay tuned, man. Thanks for rocking with your boy. It's your boy Scooter and Truck checking out with another slide. Canary yellow coupe, check. Blunt roll with that fruit, check. A Mary on my body with some $1,000 shoes. Belt will cost more than your